everyone, I have a yard sale haul. Um, I did not go yard sailing today. Um, the things that I'm going to be showing today, I'm going to start off with the stuff that I got last week. Last week I had off work on Friday, so I went yard sailing Friday, and that's what I showed in my last haul video. Um, but then I went on Saturday to sales that were just on Saturday. And then today I did not go because I ended up working really late last night. I worked like 12 hours and I did not get home until 4 in the morning and I was dead tired. So um, this sucks but I just couldn't, I couldn't stay awake any longer. I had to take a nap. Um, so I didn't go yard selling today but my mom did and my mom when she goes yard selling, she'll pick me up things that she thinks that I'll like. So she did find some pretty cool things for me today, but I'm going to start with the things that I got last Saturday. Um, I, in my last video I said um, the one yard sale that I went to where I got a lot of that Perlier um, stuff. I don't know. I went back there to see um, if they had any more left and they had like everything left like no one bought any of the stuff so I ended up buying the rest of it except for like one or two things um I got and these were two dollars a piece I got this one which is an oatmeal with coriander and honey shower and bath cream so this is sealed and I paid two dollars for it. And this isn't actually Perlier. This is um, something else called Alaria. But I know, um, I think I've seen this brand in TJ Maxx too. So I also got this Perlier Mediterranean Body Cream. And this is also sealed and I paid $2 for it. So it's just a big tub of body cream. And then I also got the Mediterranean exfoliating shower and bath gel. So these were all two dollars a piece, and they're all brand new. And then I got the this is also Alaria double latte with rice and soy milk shampoo. So I'm really excited to try that out and smell it. I haven't even opened it because it's still sealed. Then I also got this Perlier. Ylang Ylang bath and shower gel, I'm guessing this is. Got that. And then the last thing that I got at that sale was a Perlier Rosarium hand cream. So I also got the Rosarium body balm on Friday for free. I don't I still don't know why they had it for free because it was brand new and still sealed. But this was two dollars, so I don't quite understand that concept but I got it anyway and then I didn't really find much at other sales I did get this Tresemme fresh start um, this is the dry shampoo stuff for when um, you, you don't wash your hair and you just want like a, a touch up to make your hair look fresh again and this was a dollar and I don't think it was ever used maybe it was but um, it feels very very full so I picked that up and I also got this perfume this is a Perry Ellis perfume it's called reserve it's just in this big tube thing um, this was two dollars and it's still pretty much new it's filled to the top and this is a very light fresh scent perfect for summertime well, that was two dollars. One of this stuff was two dollars. And then I also got two perfume samples. This one's clean skin. Just looks like this. A little vial. And this is 25 cents. And then the only other one they had was this Betsy Johnson Tutu perfume sample vial and that was also 25 cents i wish they had more i would have bought more um i love these kind of perfume samples they're really nice especially to keep in your purse and then i got this physician's formula 
I'm guessing this is a blush. I'm not sure. It doesn't have um, a name or a shade or anything like that. I have a bigger one of these. Um, it's called like the Happy Booster face powder or something like that. And this one looks similar except it's smaller and it's um, a little bit more of a darker color. But it's still, it smells the same and it looks like it was used like once or twice. I paid a dollar for it, which I think I paid like $12 for the one I have. I can't remember, but I know it was expensive. And then I also got this Avon Smooth Minerals Eyeshadow. And this is a pretty blue color and the color is called Pixie Dust. And I paid 25 cents for that. And it's hard to say if it was used or not. Um, it doesn't look like it though, but it's not sealed. So I got that. Alright, and that's all the stuff from last week. So my mom went today and picked me up some things. So I'll show you what she got me. Um, she got me this Olay bath set. And this is like something that came out at Christmas time. And this is brand new. It's still sealed. The yeah, the shade, the, the fail, the scent is called Silk Whimsy, and it's really nice because the top, you can like open it and smell it, and it smells really good, and this comes with a bath poof, a um, massage bar soap, a secret fresh effects body mist in orchid, and then an Olay Silk Whimsy body wash and body lotion. And then it says it comes with a free one year subscription of a magazine of your choice. I don't know. This might be expired since it's from Christmas. I don't know. Um, but I haven't opened it yet. But she paid $5 for it. Which it was probably that much um, on sale at Christmas time. Maybe even cheaper. It's hard to say. Like after Christmas sales. But I was still happy about that. Um, she got me this purse. And this is just a, a fake Dolce & Gabbana purse. She paid $5 for it. Um, it's okay. I mean, I kind of like it. It's kind of like a little hippie-ish, I guess you'd say. Boho. I don't know how you want to describe it. But it's cute. I might keep it. I still haven't decided yet. And then she got me this Love's. Um, perfume set. Now, the Love's Baby Soft, I mean, I think everyone has had that at some point in their life, usually when you're younger, and I'm not a huge fan of it. I have a bottle, but I almost kind of keep it just for, like, nostalgia's sake. I don't use it. Um, this was $3, so I wouldn't probably have purchased this myself, but, um, I did notice that it has two different other scents in there that I've never smelled before. One is Sugar Kiss, which sounds like it has potential. Like I'm hoping it kind of smells a little bit like the pink sugar, Aqualina's pink sugar, but I don't know. I have to open it and find out. And then one called Rainforest, which I haven't smelled that before either, so I'm hoping like they smell um, good. And then it comes with the regular Love's Baby Soft and then the body lotion and the shower gel. So um, I'll probably get rid of some of these um, and I'll have to figure out if I like the sugar kiss or not. And keep that in mind though, as I'm yard selling and showing things, that some of the stuff might go into the um, giveaway that I'm having. Probably at the end of yard sale season, so I have all yard sale season to find things. And then also in here, she got these two. Um, Bath and Body Works Essential Oils. And these are from that aromatherapy line. One is called Awake, which is grapefruit, peppermint, and the other is Sleep, Sweet Bay Rose. And they look like this. And I don't know how much she paid for them. The Sleep one smells really good. I guess what you do is you just put them, um, you can drop them. Um, what does it say? I don't even know. I mean, it doesn't say. It doesn't say how to use it, but I think like you can um, 
maybe drop a couple in your bath or dab a little on your wrist or something like that. I don't know. I'm not too wild about the Awake one, this grapefruit peppermint. It kind of has a medicinal smell, which I'm sure would probably wake you up because it kind of stinks. So, um, She got me this Versace Bright Crystal set. She paid $2 for this, which I would definitely pick this up. So I was excited about this. And this just has a mini um, perfume bath and shower gel, a body lotion, and then a little... A little tiny bottle of the Versace perfume, bright crystal, I guess it's called. So that's nice, and it smells really good. So I'm really happy about that purchase. It's definitely something I would have picked up myself. So she nailed that one on the head. Ooh. Um, I normally don't find stuff like household, householdy type stuff. Um, she got me this trick or treat bowl um i don't know how much she paid for it i don't know if it's the price on here but anyway i might have picked this up myself i actually have a trick-or-treat bowl that i had gotten at a yard sale and that i really liked but this one's kind of deep which i like that so i'm definitely going to keep this i think it's cute and um i always run out of candy at trick-or-treat time so I can probably fill this one up too and just like keep it by the step in case I run out of the bowl that I do use. And then she went crazy. Um, there was a sale at this one place that we always go to and the lady always has high-end makeup. Like every year I'm guaranteed to find high-end makeup at her yard sale. So my mom picked me up. A ton of stuff I think she said she paid $30 for everything but that also included um, that purse that she got me plus she got um, a purse I think she paid like $10 for at the same yard sale which was also a, a fake Dolce & Gabbana purse my mom doesn't quite understand how to tell when purses are fake and I'm trying to school her on it but um, she's still isn't quite there yet so some of her purchases are you know when I'm not there to help her I feel kind of like she wastes money but um you know if she likes some or if I like them then you know it doesn't matter but so I'm just gonna go through this bag this bag is kind of full of stuff so I want to get through it um there was a philosophy amazing grace shampoo bath and shower gel in there so she got that. I would have picked this up. So it's a score. There was a Tarte Sugar Daddy Glistening Body Powder. This needs cleaned off. It looks like it was definitely in someone's makeup bag. Um, I've never had one of these, but I always wanted to try it. So I definitely would have picked this up as well. Well, I'm sorry about that. There was a Laura Geller Shadow Liner in Unearth which is a shadow, and the liner is called Dutch Chocolate. Which looks like that. So I definitely would have picked that up. Um, there was a Clinique Eyeshadow Duo in Butter Pecan, which is just two brown shades. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Clinique, actually, so I don't know if I would have picked this up, but... I mean, I'll try it out. There was a Sephora lip gloss, which doesn't have a name. It's just called a cream lip lip stain. So looks like that. It's a really pretty color. I probably would have picked it up. There's a Clinique uh, pencil eyeliner, lip liner, pencil sharpener. I already have a couple. Um, sharpeners. I have an Urban Decay one, which has one for a fat pencil too, so I probably wouldn't have picked that up. There is a sample of, uh, I'm going to butcher this name, Bulgari um, shower gel. This was a Kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado. I'm getting kind of old, so I need to look into this kind of stuff. 
I know I probably don't look my age or anything like that. No one ever thinks I'm as old as I am. But um, I guess it's a good thing. I don't really have any secrets other than do not smoke and do not drink. Those are the only things I can say as to why I guess I probably still look really young. It's because I don't smoke and I don't drink alcohol. And she got this Orly nail polish in Gumdrop, which is a really cute pastel -y teal color. I would have picked that up. She got another Clinique eyeshadow duo, and this one is in Down to Earth. So again, oh, don't know if I would have picked it up, but I'll still try it out. And there was a lot, another Lauren Geller. This is called Moonstone. It doesn't really say what it is, but I'm assuming it's an eyeshadow. So it's kind of like a purpley color. So I would have picked that up. There was a sample of the Philosophy Amazing Grace. There's an Ulta lipstick in Buff Shimmer, which looks like that. It's kind of like a nudie brown. I'll have to try that out. There was a stuff called Super Mel C, an antioxidant skin beauty cocktail by a brand called Serious Skin Care. So it's two dollars. I have no idea quite what this is yet. It comes with a pamphlet, so I'm sure it'll explain to me what it is. So I'll have to see what that's all about. She got an Ulta cheek collar, and this is in the shade Fame. Just like that. Another Clinique. This is an eyeshadow trio. Um, they're all purples. So it looks like it was used, but you know, when you buy makeup from someone who you've been been buying makeup from from a yard sale for like years, you know, it's like you kind of trust it after a while. Like you're you're almost familiar with them. So I have no problem using it, and some of the stuffs even new. So then there was a sweet cheeks cheek color. This is for Ulta. This is still sealed. There was a Clinique Liquid Facial Mild Soap. This is probably going to be a while. Um, there's this lip gloss in here. I'm not sure who this is by. The color is called Peach Sand. I'm not familiar with this symbol, so I'm not sure. My first thought was maybe the Body Shop, but um, I'm not familiar with the body shop so I don't know for certain I didn't really look it up but that's what it looks like and then my mom also got like a purpley one which she kept which I have no idea why my mom wants a purple lip gloss but anyway then there was an Ulta super shiny lip gloss that's a really pretty color and this one was also these were in like a little ziploc bag together but I tore the bag and this one's just like a baby pink color. And there's another Laura Geller. This is a marble eyeshadow in Amethyst Lagoon. Which is really pretty. Um, there was this set of three things. There's two nail polishes and a lip gloss. I don't quite know what this brand is, but it, I'm pretty sure it's something I've seen at Kohl's. So I'm assuming that's where it came from. Another Lauren Geller, this is Amethyst, which is probably an eyeshadow. I feel like I just said that. I wonder if there's that. What's that other one? No, the other one was called Moonstone, not Amethyst. I felt that I looked at that and I was like, why does that look so familiar? And the last thing was a Pacifica Tahitian Gardenia Solid Perfume, which just looks like that. And I can't open it. It smells really good. It's very florally. Very, very florally.